everybody and welcome back to my channel. Have you heard the news? Posh launched a new incentive opportunity for us at the beginning of this month. That's right, they're sending a whole boatload of us poshers to the Dominican Republic next year. Okay, pardon me, I am a little bit excited. So at the beginning of the month, Posh launched an incentive for all poshers to have a chance to earn a totally expense paid trip to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. We're going to the Paradiso Resort, which is an all-inclusive resort, and I could not be more excited. Now, if you're familiar at all with previous incentives from Perfectly Posh, this one is super extra exciting. This one is what's called a finish line incentive. So that means that anybody that reaches the finish line, which in this case happens to be 1,000 points, they're going to earn the trip. So, in honor of this incentive opportunity, I wanted to go over my top five tips for how to earn an incentive trip. You see, I joined Posh a little less than three years ago, and I've been on five trips with Posh ever since then. I've earned every single incentive trip that they've offered, and so I thought I should probably give away some of my secrets. Where have I been? St. Thomas, Italy, Greece, Costa Rica. And if for whatever reason you haven't joined Posh yet, let me just tell you, as per usual, there's never been a better time. We actually just launched a brand new website too. So lots of exciting things going on in Posh. And hello, when you join this month, you've got an awesome opportunity to earn this trip. And if you join my team, I'm gonna coach you all the way there. Okay, tip number one, shout it out. You've got to announce to your mother, brother, sister, friends, and neighbors that you're going to earn this trip. Put it right into your head that you can earn this trip and shout it out. When you name it and claim it, then your friends and family are gonna rally behind you and help you to achieve your goals. Tip number two, find an incentive buddy. It's so much more fun to chase down a goal with somebody. Every incentive that I've been on, I've absolutely had an incentive buddy, or maybe two or three, that we held each other accountable. We talked with each other every single day, and if for whatever reason I was feeling a little bit down one day, then she would help me rise up to the occasion because you've got to keep your pedal to the metal. I mean, they don't just give away free trips to anybody. You've got to work. And are you thinking, well, I'm brand new. I don't know anybody. Well, then recruit yourself an incentive buddy. Get out there. When you're shouting it out and you're telling people that you're working towards this trip, you're going to find somebody who's super self-motivated that maybe wants to earn a trip too. What's more exciting than working in conjunction together with somebody else so that you both earn this? Just imagine what it's like when you're both sitting on that beach next year. I can tell you it's a pretty sweet feeling. Tip number three, and this is a big one, if you've ever watched any of my trainings before, it's kind of a tried and true statement in direct sales or sales alike. The fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Many people have trouble following up with customers or hostesses or new teammates because they're afraid of rejection. But you know what? Follow-up is absolutely R-J-O-B. It is the biggest component to any kind of career in sales. It's not a bother when we follow up with customers. It's not a bother when we follow up with past hostesses. It's literally our job, and it's showing that we care. It's showing that that person was way more than a sale or way more than just a new recruit to you. You're building a relationship, and when you follow up with them, you're just checking in to see how things are going. If you wanna be on that beach next year, you need to make it your job to follow up with anyone and everyone that you've ever shared posh with. Whether they've only tried samples or they actually made a purchase or even if they hosted a party with you, follow up with them. Make sure they know that you're still posh. Tip number four, what's a goal without a plan? You can make goals all you want. My goal is to achieve this many points. My goal is to earn the trip. Your goal is not going to be achieved if you don't break it right down into an actionable plan. You know how many new team members you want to get. You know that you want to earn that monthly award. You know how many sales you need. Well, sales come from parties, right? And new recruits come from getting posh on more people. Break down what you need into monthly and even weekly goals. It's a little bit at a time. When you break it into those bite-sized pieces, it seems a lot more achievable because it is a lot more achievable. You're focusing on all these little goals. Incentives aren't earned overnight. They're earned over a long period of time, right? And this incentive period is five months long.
And yes, I did just have to count the months on my hand. It is five months long. Number five, get posh on the people. That is the absolute crux of our business. We know that our products are awesome. Hello, has anybody not tried Ink That The Youth? It's literally my most favorite hand cream ever. And it's anti-aging. And I'm starting. Get the posh on the people. The more people that we share posh with, the more opportunities that are going to arise. We need to have sample packages ready to go at all times. And when we reach out to somebody and ask them about trying posh, when they say yes, we need to get that package into their hands within 24 to 48 hours. And I mean, if we're mailing it, it's going into the mail within 24 to 48 hours. But you need to have a sense of urgency. Get posh on the people. And then you guessed it, we've got to follow up. And I recommend following the 2-2-2 method. You're gonna follow up two days after they get their package, two weeks after they get their package, and every two months thereafter. Did you know the majority of sales are actually going to be made after five contacts? Five or more follow-ups is how much it takes an average person to make a decision. So remember, you're not a bother. This is our job. Our job is to follow up. And if you stop following up after three times, then somebody's gonna maybe think that you've forgotten about them or that they don't matter anymore. We never want a customer to feel that way, right? I know I get really excited and I get a little animated, but I love my posh business and I am so excited at the chance to earn the Dominican Republic. Hello, there's going to be like two or 300 poshers on an island on vacation. That sounds like so much fun. I mean, I can tell you it really is so much fun. My third incentive trip with Perfectly Posh was to St. Thomas. And I have to say, I've been to Greece, I've been to Italy, I've been to Costa Rica, and St. Thomas was kind of my favorite. There's kind of something nice about laying under a cabana on the beach, listening to the ocean waves, hanging out with your posh sisters. I'm not gonna lie. Those fruity drinks with the umbrellas didn't hurt either. But details, details. Did I mention that Paradiso is all inclusive? Like all inclusive? Food, drinks, need I say more? All right, so if I'm gonna be seeing you on the beaches of Punta Cana, I wanna hear about it down in the comments. And if you're not posh yet, get in touch with me because girl, we need to talk. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Thanks for watching.